SBFalcons.com here with Devontae Moffat after a thrilling 74-72 overtime victory over Alaska Fairbanks. Devontae, your thoughts on the win? It was a battle. <laughs> it's pretty like surreal, like that environment and our fans just being out there and, and yelling and screaming just into the game. It was just a surreal environment and it was a crazy game. Well, it, uh, it didn't look good there at the end of regulation. Uh, your team's trailing 64-60 with uh, less than two minutes to play. And then you scored the final four points of regulation to force overtime. Uh, your thoughts on, on reaching overtime with this? Yeah, um, I mean, we just we just try to fight. We take it play by play. And um, we were down in the fourth, and we just wanted to chop the lead down. Um, by two possessions, by one possession, and then once we got a chance in OT to go take it, um, we did that. You sure <laughs> did. You finished with 20 points in the game. Ten of them came uh, six in overtime, and then the last two minutes of regulation you had four. So half your points in crunch time. Yeah. Is that the kind kind of player you picture yourself as? Yeah, I um, I would call myself a closer, and I feel comfortable um, just in those situations, those intense adrenaline and like high energy situations um, I feel like that's when I am more composed and and where I'm at my best to be honest and yeah I take pride in in finishing games to be honest well uh, let's look at the very end of overtime Fairbanks has the ball and Harry Cavill uh, gets a nice steal what do you remember on that defensive position? yeah um, I Shadid had the ball um, he was he had like space and a high ball screen to get to, um, and yeah, uh, Harry's man came to set the ball screen, and I was guarding Shadid, and Harry came, collapsed the ball screen, blew up the play, got on the floor, got us a steal, and like plays like that are just winning plays, and yeah, I can't do anything but thank Harry. That's what Harry does, defensive player of the year. Man. Yeah. Then I believe you have a timeout. What gets drawn up in the huddle? Uh, a, a beautiful play. Um, this is for OT, right? Yes. Um, yeah, a beautiful play um, to give me space to just drive downhill and attack and get to my spots what what I like best. And, it, yeah, it, it was a pretty nice result as well. And uh, talk about just talk about what happened once you got your space. What did you see? What did you do on that play? Yeah, we had – so at our elbows, we had our four and five at the elbows. Um, I was at the top of the key. Um our guys basically like spread it out to give me an open lane, and I attacked it, that lane, going downhill, defense rotating, um, just high off the glass. Finished with my left. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Finished with my left to to close the game, and it was it was a good moment. Now, as you, you beat your defender um, going left, you get to the rim. Do you see the help coming over? A big fella coming to try and block. Yeah, I I I usually see the help. Um, before they're rotating, or I usually know the rotation or who's rotating, so I did know who was rotating, and I did see him while I was going downhill, and that's a little bit of why I had to go high off the glass and, and finish the play. You're pretty uncanny at uh, finishing plays at the rim uh, from different angles and high off the glass or banking. Uh, do you practice that? How, how are you so good at that? Yeah, it's, it's crazy because I do practice, like, they're crazy shots, and um, some coaches probably don't want you taking those shots, but I'm truly blessed that uh, my team and Coach Lee believe in me to just take the shot I shot in in regulation and miss and to come back in OT and get another shot and have them install confidence in me and believe in me. was It was amazing, and I'm, that's a little bit why I've hit the shot, too. This is now back-to-back -back games, Brom Pavilion with game-winning shots. Uh, Shaw Anderson from the left corner against St. Martins. Uh, what is it about the home crowd you like playing in front of? I, I just think we don't want to lose at home. We don't want to let uh, our home crowd down. Um, they've been so amazing lately. In crunch time today, they were loud. Uh, we heard them on defense. It was just a beautiful and surreal moment, and I appreciate everybody tonight, my teammates, coaches, and the fans. Well, you played 30 minutes. You were busy at both ends of the floor tonight. Yes, uh, you mentioned uh, Shadid Shabazz from Fairbanks. He scored 39 points tonight. Just talk about his performance. Yeah, that's like that's like my brother. Um, we played this summer. We played in the Pro-Am. We were on the same Pro-Am team all summer. So we like battled against like pros and 
Jamal Crawford and NBA guys, and it was just it was it was pretty amazing seeing the things he did out there and just competing with him. Like that's what you dream of, just competing against like the guys you grow up with and, and know. And he's a heck of a player, like player of the year. <laughs> Why is he such a prolific scorer and such a hard guy to guard? Um, I think he's just a really good scorer from all three levels. Um, he's pretty quick, um, can get to the rim. He has the mid-range game and the three-point like step backs and all that stuff. And his like just difficulty to hit shots is just not like any other. So he has a special. He, he's a special cloth and special player for sure. He sure is. Well, he got us thirty-nine points. You go home with the win, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell him we got the win, though. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Well, you don't have a whole lot of time to celebrate this one. You come back um, less than 48 hours. Yeah. You have an afternoon game, 4.15 against Alaska Anchorage. Team that beat you up there on the uh, on December 30th. Uh, your thoughts on what you need to do to, to be ready for that one and have success? Yeah, I think um, when they seen us up there in Alaska, we were finding ourselves, and I think we... I think we found ourselves in Noah. We're we're pretty good. We found our identity, and I think we're just going to keep doing the the things we do well, which is rebounding, um, hitting shots, spreading the floor, and just attacking gaps and playing defense. Really, and I think we bring that into Saturday's game. We're gonna we're gonna like our results. Great. Well, Devontae, congratulations on a clutch uh, game-winning basket and a team victory. Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it.